What's up, YouTube? In this video, we're going to show you how to set up OBS to stream and record two different scenes at once. If you search for this, you probably have your own reasons. If not, you might want to stream, but also have some clean footage later to use. I'm going to assume that you already have OBS installed. What you're going to want to do next is download the NDI plugin. I'll also put the link down in the description. We're going to go to the NDI plugin page, go to download. Grab the one that's for your operating system. Uh, I have Windows, so I'm going to use the Windows installer. Once you have it installed, we're going to have to make a copy of your OBS folder. Uh, if you don't know where it is, uh, easiest way is just to go to the shortcut, open File Location, let's go to Properties, open File Location, and we actually want the whole folder. So we're going to go up to Folders. We're just going to copy all this here. Go to the desktop. You can put this anywhere but the program files folder. I'm going to put it on the desktop for this example here. I'm going to call it OBS Portable. Space all that stuff in here. Okay. Let's go to the bin folder. 64 bit if you're using a 64 bit machine. And let's make a shortcut to the executable. All right. All right, now right click on the shortcut. Let's go to properties. At the end of this target, we're going to put slash slash portable. Now, what that means is that you can run this on a thumb drive. It's independent from your system. It also means it's going to um, have its own configuration settings. So you'll have to set that up again. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and Paste the shortcut out here. We won't need that folder anymore. So if you got NDI plugin installed, you've made the portable folder. Okay, so now that we have the portable version of OBS up and running, we're gonna add a scene and a source. Uh, it looks like it's already added a scene, so we're just gonna add a source. I'm gonna do a uh, game capture, but you can do whatever you want. Um, I have got Guilty Gear up and running in the background. So let's add that up. Okay, there it is. Easy enough. Let's add, let's right click on the source, add filters, and I've got to make this smaller because I'm recording in 720 just so you can see everything. Go to the plus sign and we're going to add dedicated NDI output. I'm going to go ahead and name this clean footage. You can name it whatever you want. Also, don't forget to mute the mic if uh, you're not trying to record yourself on the uh, clean footage. Um, you can go ahead and start recording if you want to. All right, so let's go to our main OBS instance uh, here. Over here, I've got my overlay. I've got my alerts, and I'll show you that the alerts work. Um, let me just do a emulation. All right, that's kind of loud. It's kind of loud. Let me turn that down. So uh, let's add a source. We're going to add an NDI source. We're going to select the source that we started earlier, dedicated NDI output. And as you can see here, is up and running. Let me just move this under the overlays. So here, and your main OBS, you're streaming with all your overlays and alerts, and uh, we'll do it again here. Oops. Yes. But on your other instance, you've got nothing. It's just a game. That's it. I hope that helped. Happy streaming and enjoy. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll catch you next time.